What's going on guys? Today we're gonna to be comparing the two different type of discounts on Apple. We're gonna be talking about the education discount and the military veteran discount. In today's video, we're gonna see how the student discount that averages about 6% discount is gonna be a better discount overall than the 10% military discount. Make it make sense. But we're also gonna be speaking on why the Apple card hates military and veterans. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the screen. I'm gonna be showing you guys in the computer comparing the current 24 inch iMac model that we're gonna be building with certain specifications, upgrades, and let's go ahead and check out the major difference based on these two type of discounts. The math would typically say that 10% is better than 6%, but I'm gonna show you guys why 6% is gonna be better than the 10%. Stick around. We're gonna be looking at the eight-core GPU with the eight-core CPU, and we're gonna be going for the 512 gigabyte storage model, or the higher end one. As you can see here, the price on the education site is $15.99, so you get a $100 discount right off the bat on the education site. But here, on the veteran site, you get a bigger discount with a 10%, right? So check this out. It does say on this side that you get 3% cash back here, um, which is odd because it actually doesn't. So let's, let's go ahead and go through it, right? So you get a little bit of a better discount here right off the bat compared to the education. But let's go ahead and see. Let's go through the process. Now, the funny thing is we are on the veteran side. It does say get 3% daily cash back with the Apple card on here. But let's see if that's actually true. So let's go here. We're going to be specking this out to 16 gigabytes of unified memory as well as the one terabyte. A lot of people are actually going to be wondering why, but the reasoning for that is the SSD inside the machine is going to be a whole lot faster than any portable one. I've done my research and I'll take the additional 180 just for it to be internal. I don't have to be plugging in anything in and out. If I need an external later down the line, I'll be able to do that then. I'll be selecting the one with the numeric keypad as well. The prices on here are going to be relatively the same, guys. If you've been looking, it's 180 180 for each upgrade. $30 for the numeric keypad. Yeah, so 180 180 Magic Mouse numeric keypad as well. So all these prices are pretty much the same, right? But this is where we're going to be getting into some trouble. So this Pro App Bundle for Education is only $199.99. So $200, bucks, right? We'll apply that. But look, this one comes with, I believe, like five apps, which is Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro, as well as Motion and some other things. On here, with just Final Cut Pro alone, it is more than the actual bundle right here. So if I apply this and I apply that, so 2418 compared to 2188. And let's go ahead and continue. Let's go here. For the education site, it actually has an additional 20% off on Apple Care. That means Apple Care has a bigger discount for the education site currently because they're running a promotion. So we'll take it. For the veterans and military site, it has Apple Care only at 10%, which is okay. That's fine. That was expected. So let's review the bags. So here's the other thing. The education site is currently running a special offer of a $150 gift card with any applicable product from Apple, right? So we will be receiving that here. On the veteran site, you can't redeem that because it's not being offered. So we have to take that with a grain of salt. But just look at the difference of the prices here. $21.88 versus $24.18. That's a huge jump right off the bat. $21.88 is not including the $150 gift card that we'll be able to apply to our payment. Let's go ahead and proceed to the bottom of both of these pages. Guys, this is where I'm completely disappointed with Apple. Check this out. For the education site, you are able to use the Apple Card monthly installment program. With that, I'll be able to use their 0% 12-month financing. With this one, you are obligated to pay in full. Not eligible for Apple Card monthly installment. I reached out to the Apple help desk. They said that this is a third-party site and 
it's not eligible for it. What sense does that make? If you could apply it to the education site that is currently providing a bigger discount, why would you not apply it here? The other thing is, if we go through the checkout process on both of these. All right, guys, so check this out. By using the Apple Card through the education website, it allows me to have the 0% APR, the monthly installments, plus I'll be able to get the 3% daily cash back. Pretty much all the benefits from the Apple Card will apply to this purchase. Now on the other side, over here, let's go ahead and proceed so you guys can see. If I select the Apple Card payment here, nothing about daily cash back is being applied. It should have provided me all the benefits that is showing on, on the education side here if it was applicable to the veteran side. Why doesn't Apple just also make this available for veterans? Yet alone, okay, maybe you don't want the 3%, but allow us to have the 0% monthly installments program. All right, let's go ahead and continue to review. On here, I can't review. This is pretty much the review um, part. It's breaking down the monthly payments. This is gonna be the total monthly payments and then the $150 gift card. Monthly installments is gonna be for this price of $193. That's gonna be the total 2,497 minus 150. And then guys, also take into consideration, it'll be 3% cash back. So I'll be able to get the $150 gift card plus $75. So that's gonna be 225 that I'll be able to deduct from here. So 24 97 minus 225. So this will come out to the total of 2,272 compared to the total of 2,775. So guys, currently the difference here after the gift card and the $75 that I'll be receiving on the 3% daily cash back, this total will come down to $2,272, whereas this total will remain the same at $2,775. That is a $500 difference, guys. That, to me, makes no sense. This is why I'm saying that Apple, currently, with the new Apple Card, or actually, let's say the Apple Card hates military and veterans. I don't know how else to say it, but at least give us either the 0% monthly interest payments available so we don't have to fork out almost $3,000 for a regular home computer. This is not even a pro computer, guys. So being able to make monthly installments for this will help out greatly. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap up today's video. Let me know what you guys think down below. If you guys agree with me, let me know. And if you disagree, let me know why the discounts that can be applied for the education site cannot be applied for the military veteran site, specifically the 12-month financing with 0% if you are using your Apple card. Make it make sense, guys. I don't really see the reason why that can't be applied. It can be applied in the regular store, it can be applied in the education store, but it cannot be applied in the military store. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.